Scott, let's talk about the Penguins. Let's face it, they were built to get to this point, and here they are. What should a concern be for Penguins fans as the Eastern Conference Final is about to begin? Well, I guess uh, you've got a layoff uh, for a team that has scored four or more goals in nine of 11 postseason games. This team is really cooking offensively. So you hope that this layoff after beating Ottawa in five games uh, doesn't uh, maybe dull or blunt the offense a little bit because this is a Penguin team that really uh, was going on all cylinders. They outscored Ottawa 22-11. Ottawa, a very good defensive team, and they were no match could not slow the Pittsburgh Penguins. Um, I suppose you have to wonder about Thomas Bocoon. Uh, of course, it seems a bit uh, churlish to uh, criticize or question a guy who's 6-1 and one with a 941 save percentage. So um, there were some rebound issues at, a couple times in Ottawa. Um, but boy, right now, this Penguin team uh, looks exactly like you imagined they would be. They're loaded for bear. They can play any way you want. They're playing better defense than I think people give them credit for. And man, are they lighting it up offensively. Let's face it, Barry, the Penguins got a good draw. Yep. They got the Islanders and they got Ottawa, two young teams that they took advantage of, especially on the power play, as we saw. They're playing a championship team now that was the best PK unit in the league and can roll four lines with them, with veterans and with youth. Um, talk about the step up in competition they now face, and should that be a concern? When a team goes to face a team like this, a big step up in competition, is it a bit of a jolt early? First off, I'm not sure churlish is a word. i got to check on that after Didn't the show. Did he play Shane Churlish? <laughs> he was tough. Uh, the Boston is a very interesting team. I don't think they're getting enough respect in this series. Boston has made very good goaltenders look very average. Henry Lundqvist gave up five goals to the Boston Bruins. They attacked the net better than any other team in the, in the NHL. And Vakun will never see a puck come. And they stack in front of the goal better than any other team in the NHL. And Char will play against Crosby every shift. Char has made a habit of shutting down the best offensive players on other teams. Uh, so that is going to be a matchup that's going to be very interesting to watch. Also, uh, the Boston Bruin defense, I think, is better than it's ever been. Uh, with the addition of Barkowski and Krug. Uh, they're faster, they're more offensive, uh, they're, they're better defensively, they're more mobile, and I think that'll cause the Pittsburgh Penguins some problems. And the defense of Pittsburgh is going to get hit harder than they've ever been hit before. Milan Lucic is a different player now than he was during the regular season. He's already pounded a few defensemen almost into submission on the teams that he's played. So uh, Latang is going to be in for a rough, rough ride against, or against Lucic for the uh, Boston Bruins. I think this is going to be a heck of a series. I think Boston's going to uh, open up some uh, some weaknesses that maybe the Pittsburgh Penguins don't know they have or if they have uh, trying to keep a secret but I'll tell you this is going to be a tough series a physical series uh, and if Boston can have that puck control the, that cycling game uh, and keep it away from the Pittsburgh superstars this is going to be a tough game and a tough series for Pittsburgh to score in. Yeah, Scotty, you would think that they would try to keep Chris Letang away from Lucic and Horton, maybe have Orpik out there at that time. It will be interesting to see how these two coaches deal with that. But as we said, they normally roll four lines. So if you're the Boston Bruins, again, they haven't seen anybody like 87, and they haven't seen anybody like 71. They played a Maple Leaf team that was kind of an experience and, and more of a skating team, and then a Ranger team that doesn't really scare you offensively. So let's talk about the adjustment the Bruins have to make dealing with 87 and 71. Well, and, and I mean, Barry's points are all well taken, but I think the same thing applies to the Boston Bruins. I mean, this was, they played a New York Ranger team that had zero going on offensively. Their power play was invisible completely. You're talking about the most efficient power play in the playoffs, and they will hurt you if you take penalties. And so if you're Milan Lucic, if you're that hard-checking fourth line that was so good against the Rangers, you have to be very careful about where that line is. Brad Marchand, a guy who sometimes goes over the line. So discipline is going to be a key for the Bruins. And those young guys have played uh, marvelously for the Bruins. And at one point, they had three rookies in uh, against the Rangers. Barkowski and Krug playing big minutes, big roles for the Bruins uh, against the Rangers. But they're not going to – they haven't faced a team that will also roll four lines like the Penguins. And the top two lines, uh, we mentioned Evgeny Malk and uh, John. But what about James Neal? Absolutely come alive. Five goals, two assists in the last two games. If he stays in that groove – the, the Bruins, I, I'm not sure how they're going to answer. They may have to split up Seidenberg and Chara, but a whole new kettle of fish for the Bruins defensively if we see the Penguin team that we did against the Ottawa Senators.
Yeah, Tyler Sagan's the one guy that can skate with the Penguins' pace. He may need to have a big series for the Bruins. And you, you know what's important? How the series is going to be refed. Oh, if absolutely. it's going to be a ticky-tack call, uh, slashing on the pants, a little hooking and holding, if those are going to be called, that really favors the Pittsburgh Penguins. If the referees come in, maybe a couple veterans, and, and uh, let these guys play and let them grind it a bit and let them do some battling for pucks, that favors the Boston Bruins. So it's going to be very interesting which referees ref these series and what type of calls they're going to call. I hope they let them play. Uh, I hope they let them battle for pucks and such, uh, but it's going to be very interesting. Again, Scotty's right. The power play favors Pittsburgh. If there's a lot of penalties, Pittsburgh's power play looks unstoppable.